Alright, what's up everybody? It's the guides here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get free game saves, um, no viruses, none of that stupid shit. Um, all legit. I've done it a few times for a few games. So in my previous videos, what you're going to do is plug your USB into your Xbox 360, go over to settings, system settings, memory. If you haven't configured your device already, go ahead and do so. It should take you about a minute or two. Once you've done that, go up to your hard drive where your game saves are, or your memory card, wherever you save them to. What you're going to do is find the game you want to game save for. In this case, I want to do Borderlands. Um, you guys can do something else, just FYI, they do not have a game save for every single game on um, this website, or this program, which is Monio. Um, also, I'll put the link in the description for these two programs, USB XTAP and Monio. They do not have a game save for everyone, so, you know, don't count on it. getting a game save for, you know, a game that just came out. Crackdown 2, they think they have some already, but some games they don't have any for, so. Anyways, so once you've done that, uh, make sure you copy the game save on your USB device. Do not move it. If you move it and you accidentally mess up and end up deleting a game save, that's all your fault. I'm not, <laughs> don't blame me for any of that. Okay, so what you want to do is once you did that, put your USB in your computer and open up USB XTAF. I'm just going to go back real quick. Actually, I'll reopen this. So once you've opened it up, click File, Open Device, where it says Direct Content. Keep clicking this. Um, if you've watched my previous vids, you know how to do it. Go to Extract. And actually, you don't actually have to do this, but I'm just, I do it to make a backup file. So if you want to do this, go for it. If you accidentally delete it, I have it on a desktop down here. So just leave that open, that's your game save folder. Now, what you want to do is open up Modio. You do need to make an account for this, like I said in the previous videos. Uh, it'll take you two seconds, just so you can download stuff. So go to download and game save. Um, like I said, I'm doing Borderlands, so here you go. So the key to doing this, um, looking up a game save and that kind of stuff, is you want to look for the one with the most likes. So this one, Borderlands, best mod out there. Um, I've downloaded that one. I tried it. It's level 70, all, everything. So that's the one I chose. You scroll down. Not many of them have a lot of likes besides that one, but that's nowhere as close to this one. So double-click on that. Um, this will not give you a virus. Please don't think that. Um, now what you want to do is look at the description. So just, you know look at everything um, all that kind of stuff so if it looks pretty legit you think it's legit go ahead and download it if they do link you to another website and you get a virus from that that's your own fault like I said you're just focusing on this and that's it I do not believe you can get uh, viruses off of save files as you can see down here um, correct me if I'm wrong so just click download then again just you know save it to your desktop so you know and I already have one of those on there so I'm gonna name it save one one two three so save that it's gonna take a minute to load uh, wow I do not know what that noise was but it made me scared <laughs> it made like a staticky noise it made me jump anyways so once you've done that drag your file into your modio um, what you want to do is save set ID, rehash and resign, save set ID again, and rehash and resign. Now you can rehash and resign as many times uh, as you want. I normally do three times, four times sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter, just to make sure it works. So once you've done that, close it out. Drag your file, or you can do inject. Um, in this case, I'll just drag it in here. So this is your one game save file, if you want to continue from that one, and this is your other one. So once you've done that, close it out, you're all set. Always remember to safely remove from the computer, just in case you don't want to, you know, get any corrupted memory and that kind of shit and have your flash drive break. So safely remove. Once that popped up, you can do that. Close this out. Put your flash drive back into your Xbox, which I'm doing right now because I wanted to test this mod out also. All right. So, um, if you've closed out your thing, you just click the big X button, go all the way over to settings, 
system settings memory and go down to your memory unit go to your games and both of your files should be on there in this case I have level 70 for both of them Firestone and T-Bone Junction um, you can either move them copy them or move them to your Xbox um, if they say corrupted pro uh, profiles excuse me if they say corrupted profiles you can still move them to your Xbox you should be able to move them if you didn't you did something wrong and I will be glad to guide you through that in the comments now I just want to do a little vlog along with this um, I did get my account reset for game score modding no do not mod 50 000, over 50,000 games going a day if I would you know that's not reasonable at all if I were you guys I would do over if you're gonna mod game score do 1,000 to 2,000 game score a week if you want to be extra safe, do 500 gamer score a week. If you want to be extra extra safe, do 500 gamer score a month. Um, you know, mainly because it's kind of obvious. No one can pull off 50,000 gamer score in a day. I also modded games for my friends. Uh, I modded their accounts and on some other people, and I feel like a real asshole. So, you know, um, put a, a notion in that video. Be warned. You can get reset, as I said in the video. So, um... Anyways, along with that, I'm going to be making Modern Warfare 2 commentaries. Um, I will... I'm not sure if I'll make commentaries for other games, considering, I don't know, the frame rates on most of them. I know Call of Duty games are, like have a reasonable frame rate for a Dazzle capture card. I just don't want any laggy and choppy clips and that kind of stuff, so... Um, probably record other games. You know, I have a stack of good, decent games over here I can record. I can do some walkthroughs. Um, you know, just put that in the comments, so. Alright, I'm gonna end the-